Hello everyone, good morning, happy Friday. Welcome to our Facebook Live videos here inside of the Facebook group. So if you're watching this live, go ahead and say hi in the comment section below so that I know that you're here. If you're watching the replay either on Facebook or on YouTube, still go ahead and say hi just so I can see who's watching. Uh, and I'm going to just check really quickly that I am indeed going live in the right place. That's always, <laughs> always a good thing to check. Um, in today's video, I am going to be talking about six free social media scheduling tools. Um, most of them I have used before. And this is a question that we got in the group from both Charlene and Jill, I believe. Actually, let me just double check. Um, that I'm saying the right people's names because I want to make sure that we're answering the right questions. And yes, both Charlene and Jill asked the same question, which is uh, Charlene asked, "What's a better than what's better than Hootsuite for free scheduled posts?" And Jill said, "I have the same question as Charlene. At the moment, she's using Facebook Scheduler, but it's very rudimentary." And she wants, she has a question about Facebook de-emphasizing posts through third-party apps. So, uh, before I go on, if everyone could comment below with what scheduling tool you're currently using to um, schedule out your social media posts. If you're using something that is native, if you're just posting natively, say natively, but if you're using Hootsuite um, or any other social media scheduling tools, I would like to know what everyone's using. Hey, Valerie, welcome, welcome. Um, now, before we dive into the tools and while everyone's commenting below with what social media scheduling tool that they use, I want to talk a little bit about um, Facebook's, this rumor that Facebook de-emphasizes posts that are scheduled through a scheduling tool. Now, um, this rumor started a few years ago, and while it doesn't have, um, it, it, while some people say that it you know, is not necessary or that Facebook reduces your reach when you're posting through these scheduling tools. I actually disagree with that. And actually, a lot of the research that's done out there um, from, you know, these big S uh, SaaS companies have proven otherwise. Um, so here's the deal. You can post natively to Facebook and perhaps it gets a slightly better reach. I've tested it with all of my clients. Sometimes it does get a very slightly better reach, okay? But what happens is now we're relying on posting to Facebook in real time at the right time. On top of that, we have to use Facebook's native scheduler, which sometimes can be a little bit weird, as Jill said. Um, and, and it makes it extra step, so you can only schedule Facebook posts to Facebook. So here's what I do. For all of my clients, I schedule Facebook posts using the scheduling tool I use, which I'll talk about in a minute. Um, but we also post natively uh, occasionally as well to kind of balance it out. So what I suggest is yes, still schedule your, your posts. You want to make it easier for you. You want to make sure those posts are going out the right time, which is important, and that you're actually posting, which is even more important. I don't want you to fall into the trap of just never posting because you forgot to schedule a post and you feel like you have to post it natively, okay? So if you schedule out your content, it helps you and it counteracts any of that reach that you may have lost maybe by using a scheduling tool, which I've tested out. It's not that much, if anything, at all, okay? All right, let's check in the comments. Um, I see that Ginger is using Facebook to post natively, but she's also using Hootsuite. Um, she's used others in the past, Post Planner, Content Studio. Oh, I've never heard of that one. Buffer. All great. Um, Katie says she used Hootsuite for IG, but then uploaded her images a little bit fuzzy, so now she does it natively. Um, there may be a workaround that I have for you there, Katie. All right, so let's dive into the scheduling tools, and I'm actually going to share my screen for some of these. Um, and if you have any questions along the way, please drop them in the comment section just so that I can um, see them and answer them live after I share my screen here. And 
There we go. So the first one, I always recommend this uh, because I personally used it for years is Hootsuite. I find that it is a little bit cumbersome, but it was it has been the most reliable and it makes the most sense in my head as far as scheduling goes. So when you use Hootsuite, you pick a time, you schedule it for that time basically, um, which works for the way that I do things. So their plan is free for one person and three profiles. So if you've got Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, you can use Hootsuite for free. Now Hootsuite, not a lot of people like it. It's a bit tacky. Um, and their goal is, of course, all of, all of these platforms' goals is, of course, to make money. So this one, you know, sometimes you can't do everything you want to do because you have to upgrade to the next plan. So my second favorite one that I always recommend is Buffer. Buffer is a lot like Hootsuite, but it's simpler, way simpler for scheduling posts. Um, they have... Uh, Pinterest, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Google Plus, and LinkedIn, although I think uh, Pinterest and Google Plus, you have to be on their premium plan, um, but you can do Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, for instance, for free with Buffer, and a lot of people like Buffer because um, you're really adding a post to a queue, so you can set up your schedule, let's say you have posts going out Monday at 10 a.m. and Monday at 5 p.m., and let's say you want 10 and 5 p.m. every day. With Buffer, you could just type out your post and hit Add to Queue, and it'll add it to the next open spot. You can also schedule it for a specific time as well. Um, so a lot of people like Buffer for its simplicity, and um, a lot of people find it a little bit easier to navigate than Hootsuite, for instance. So for Buffer, Let's go ahead and take a look at their free plan. Very similar to Hootsuite. You've got it for free. You've got three social platforms. You can't have team members, and you can only schedule 10 posts at a time. So that could be a little bit limiting depending on how far in the future you want to schedule, but 10 posts at a time. And the social networks, oh, it does look like Google Plus is included, uh, but Pinterest is not. So you can schedule pretty much to the main ones except for Pinterest. Um, the great thing about Buffer, too, is their browser extension. So let's say you're perusing the web and you see an article and you want to share it out on social media, you can simply hit their browser extension and, and share it out that way. They've also got this um, image creator that is a lot like Canva, like a little bit of like a sim simpler Canva, so to speak. Um, so uh, that could be an interesting option if you want to create an image right inside of Buffer and use it on social media. So Buffer, really great option if you're looking for a free uh, plan. All right, so the next one I wanna talk about is Later. Um, it is an Instagram scheduler, and uh, if you just have Instagram, like Katie said, this is a really great option for you. Their free plan is perfect if you've just got one Instagram account and that's all you want to schedule for. And now they have the ability of auto-scheduling as well. Um, look at this banner up here, so you can click that to learn more. Um, all the links to this will be in the description of the video after um, it is live, or after we're done recording. All right, so with the buff, with the later plan, so this is Instagram only, you get one platform. Oh, actually, it looks like they've added in Twitter, Facebook, and Pinterest, which is kind of nice. Uh, so you get one platform. You get one person using it, so you can't have really your team in there. You can post video, video uh, photos, excuse me, but you cannot post video, so photos only. You have up to 30 that you can do in a month, which could be helpful if you want to plan your content for a month at a time. Later could be a really good option for you to plan out your Instagram posts and then you don't have to think about them. They've got some basic analytics. Um, they've got this option where you can repost um, other people's posts as well. So you can search through Instagram, say for a hashtag, and do a regram right inside of Later. Uh, and unlimited media, I believe that means you can save, yes, you can save as many posts. So let's say you have more than 30 days worth of posts, you can just hit save instead of schedule and it'll actually save it on your account for you. So their free plan is pretty robust if you've just got one account that you want to use. Um, I know a lot of clients actually love this because they also have, um, I believe they have a, a view where you can just see how your grid is. Like, you can see <laughs> what everything looks like so that um, you know what that flow will be on Instagram. 
All right, I found two others that I've never used before that are scheduling tools, but I just want to bring them up in case somebody else wants to try them out. Um, I've heard of this one before, but I've never used it. It's Soho's social section. They're more of a CRM company, but they also have social media scheduling. Um, their plans at the very top, it doesn't look like they have a free plan at first glance, but they do. If you scroll down to the bottom, they do have a free edition publishes on all networks, one team member, one brand, which is seven accounts. You get your URL shortener and you get the browser extension. So pretty basic scheduling tool, but it, they do have a free option. So it may be something to consider if you need more than three, like the others, both Hootsuite and Buffer require um uh, um, only have three accounts that you can connect. Um, later, you only can connect one for free. So this could be a good option if you want to connect more than those three accounts, okay? So this is zoho.com slash social. And then this last one that I actually just discovered this morning is Postify. And Postify also has a free plan. Um, and it looks like they've got this kind of like calendar view, which I could, which could be very useful. Um, we've got Instagram scheduling now. Let's take a look at their prices, though. So their free plan has up to five social media accounts. So you can connect Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google+, and LinkedIn, let's say. Um, you can have up to 10 pending posts. So you really can't schedule that far in advance, but you can schedule at least a week, let's say. They've got a built-in image editor. They've got the mobile app. They apparently give you post ideas, which again, I haven't tried this, so I don't know what it's like, but that's what they say. And covers scheduling, up to three covers scheduled at once. Um, I actually don't even know what they mean by that. <laughs> but uh, uh, let's go back to their homepage and see if they explain what that covers means. Because I think that could be... Um, Interesting. Okay, so here's their post ideas. It looks like they've got inspiration for you based on trending topics. Um, pretty standard for some of these scheduling tools. They've got analyze that. You can create your photos right there. They don't say what the covers thing is. I don't know. Maybe I'm missing it. You guys explain it to me if I'm missing it. Um, okay, now two more that are a little bit different. Uh, one of them isn't free. It's the one that I use. But I want to show you something else in case you, just for options, so that you guys can know what's up. This is Recur Post. This is what I use. Um, let me see if I can go to the home page here and just uh, log out to their main page. All right, Recur Post. It really helps you recycle, like they said, social media posts. It's a lot like Meet Edgar, if you guys know Meet Edgar. You can basically have a queue of posts. So let's say I use this for my blog post. I've got like 30 blog posts in the queue. Um, and Recur Post will post them regularly at whatever time I say. So if I say I want a blog post posted on my Facebook account every Monday at 10 a.m., Recur Post will pull that from the queue for eternity, basically. So there's a constant flow of content there based on the content that I've added. So I will write the caption, I'll add in the links, and then Recur Post will just automatically post it out. Um, their free plan, I'm on the free plan. I love it. It's great. Um, so for their free plan, you get up to three accounts. You can have 100 recurring updates. Um, you can post at up to 10 times daily um, per social media account. And um, you have up to 10 one-time posts per account. So you can also schedule posts just for that, for just for one time instead of having it recur out. Um, I do like their paid options, though, um, which I, I kind of bounce back and forth. Like, sometimes I do the paid, sometimes I do the free for the clients, depending on what it is. Um, so they've got the RSS feed. So let's say I want to always post blog posts from Social Media Examiner. I can just put that in there and it'll make a queue for me and automatically post those. Um, their paid option also has video. 
They can um, import from other places. Um, unlimited tweet variations. So with Twitter, you have to be careful because they recently enacted rules where you can't post the same update over and over. So um, RecurPost will help you create variations for those tweets so that your tweets look a little different and it's not the exact same post. Um, and so much more, more stuff in here. Um, they've got editorial calendar, which I like, and they've got, um, I don't know what boost engagement scheduling is. Oh, they post it at the right time for you, and then they've got analytics. So I'll log in and show you now um, what this looks like on the back end. So um, here is my content library. So inside my content library, I've got oh, 21 blog posts, okay? So I just added in all of these blog posts with a little caption, and it pulled the image for me. And so this will share out at the time that I have set up, okay? So 21 posts in here. Um, so that's just an example. And then if you want to um, schedule a certain time, so for LinkedIn, for instance, I've got those blog posts going out every Monday, and I told Recur Post to just post it at the best time on Monday, which is usually like 8 a.m. for LinkedIn. Um, same thing for Twitter. I've got them going out daily, though I haven't added in all the variations, so not all of them go out. Um, and then I've got the Facebook page here going out daily uh, blog posts just um, from that queue that I've put in. Okay. All right, so those are the six. The six free social media scheduling tools that you can use to really help you stay on top of your social media posts. The last one I want to show you is called Social Pilot. It's the one that we use internally here at OnlineDrea.com and um, they do have a free trial if you want to try it out. I found it to be the most affordable for the amount of accounts that we have. Hootsuite was getting really expensive. I loved them but it was way too pricey for what we were doing and this one is very affordable. Um, so they have scheduling to all the major players. They also have the RSS feed options, um, and they have um, um, queues as well. So you can create a queue of content as well. So just to take a look at their plans really quickly, um, of course they have them by yearly, but um, their smallest plan, not that expensive. You can have up to 10 accounts connected, 50 posts per day, 1,000 posts in the queue. Um, so very, a little bit more robust than some of the other paid options that we were looking at. So I just wanted to put this on the table as a bonus scheduling tool in case you're looking for something a little bit more, more robust than the free tools that's not going to break the bank. All right, so I'm going to stop sharing my screen and check out some comments, uh, see if there's any questions here. Awesome. All right, no questions. So thanks so much, you guys, for joining me uh, live on this lovely Friday morning. I will be live here every Friday at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time. If you have a question at any point, feel free to ask it in the group. I will answer it in a video. Um, just a reminder to sign up for the Savvy Social Framework. It's your free and essential social media workshop. Um, it's free. It's a seven-day training. And I've been getting a lot of great feedback from you guys, really finding impact with this um, training that I've put together. And, of course, it leads to the Savvy Social School, which will be launching beta at the end of July. Um, if you have any questions, again, feel free to reach out, and I will see you guys next week. Bye!